Normalizing gaze is a concept in which people view images and create norms based on the on-screen subject. In practices of looking, Sturkin and Cartwright uses the example of photographic images and advertisements to show normalizing gaze. They claim that photographic images have made people more willing to follow the ideologies of society and made them want to conform and fit in more. These images are usually found in advertisements and they have the power to affect our images of people. The subjects shown in these ads usually have white features with the perfect pose and the perfect body, and they are a part of the normalizing gaze that viewers have on themselves. In El Norte, the media is also a main component of normalizing gaze. In this scene, Enrique and his family are talking about how life is like in America, and they claim that even the poor people have cars. Through television and magazines, the family have created an idea of American life. And with this idea, they have a normalizing gaze on Americans. Another example of normalizing gaze is Chief Buffalo Child Longlands in the documentary Real Injun. In the movie, Longlands is the ultimate mystic warrior. However, he shows up at a cocktail party with his hair slicked back and wearing a tuxedo. The others at the party were all expecting to see an Indian show up, and nobody realized that he had already shown up dressed as this well-groomed man. The guest at the cocktail party has normalizing gaze on Longlands, comparing him to the warrior shown on screen. They do this because the images in the film gave them a false norm, a specific but incorrect description of how a native should look like. 